The beauty of Oxygen's WooCommerce integration is that you can override the WooCommerce styles on a global basis. So just like a theme, you can get it looking on brand in just a few clicks. You can get it matching your styles. Yet you also have the ability and the flexibility to build totally custom layouts for every part of WooCommerce, your products, your shop, your cart page, your account pages, every other part of WooCommerce. So I've already set up an example site here, but I haven't tweaked the design at all. I'm just using the default WooCommerce styles that ship with Oxygen. Let's go ahead and set up a template for our WooCommerce product layout. So a custom layout for a product. So to do that, I'm going to go to new template. I'm going to call this product and inherit the header and footer from the main template. And we're going to set this to apply to products. And let's go ahead and save this and then edit with oxygen. So to create the layout for our products, I'm going to first add in a section. And then I'm going to add in the product builder element. So go to the WooCommerce tab and you'll see all of your available WooCommerce elements here. I'm going to add in a product builder. And the product builder's default layout is just going to be the default layout provided by WooCommerce with some spiced up styles to make it look good. And let's preview some other product here. So you can see how the layout looks. There it is. Now if we wanted to do a custom layout for a product, we have all these individual elements that we can add inside the product builder to override this layout. So let's go ahead and set up a two column layout. So go to basics, columns, we'll go 50-50. And in the right column, I will add product images. So I can also just search that in the add section, we'll go product images. And then over here, I can go to WooCommerce or search, we can go product title. We can add in the product description. Or probably better to use the product excerpt actually, that's a shorter description. So we don't need the long description there. Let's add in the price. Let's add in the add to cart button. This would also include any variation drop downs. Let's drag that down. What else do we want to put in here? Maybe the product meta information if it's in any categories. And then below the columns, let's add in the product tabs. Let's add a little bit of space there. And let's space this out a little bit too. So we probably want to move this add to cart stuff to the bottom. Maybe categories above that. Give this a little space. Bring this down. Bring this up. And there we go. There is our custom WooCommerce layout. You could add any other elements you want in here. So you could create really any layout you could possibly imagine with WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at a new tab on the front end. And here we go. Let's add this to our cart. It says it's been added to the cart. Let's view the cart. And there we go. Now, if we wanted to customize the layout here, we could go to the individual elements and tweak the styles, right? We could go over here. We could go over to the input so we could customize, you know, maybe how big is the font. We could make it bigger. We could make it smaller. You could do whatever you want. But the best way to do it to get a consistent look across your site is actually do this on a global basis. And that is the beauty of Oxygen's WooCommerce integration. You could go to manage settings, global styles, WooCommerce. And from here, you can control the colors, the styles, the border radiuses used for every part of WooCommerce. So you can instantly get your site on brand. So the rest of my site is kind of using this white, silver, gold, black color scheme. Let's override these colors with those colors. And then my buttons are also, they have a sharp corner, no radius. So let's override those radiuses and get everything looking consistent. So I'm going to go to buttons. And let's just set the color to my already set up global colors. Actually, I should probably swap those. This is probably the main color. This is going to be the hover color. We're going to use a dark color for the tertiary CTAs. Let's use that same dark, but maybe make it a little lighter on hover. And instead of border radius of four, we're going to use a border radius of zero. That does our buttons. We also have global styles for links. So let's set up the same colors for our links. These are just coming from my already saved global colors. For a focused input, let's use this same gold. We don't want any radius on our inputs. And maybe actually we want to use, instead of have an outline around the input, we just want the input to be kind of gray. So we'll make the input background. Do I have a silver somewhere? Yeah, let's use atomic alternate. Maybe that's not quite dark enough. Let's darken that a little bit. 
and then use that same for the other, for the background, same as background and border. That'll give us just a rectangle and tax looks good. Notifications for our message color, we're gonna use this. For error color, let's change it to something like orange or red and info color, we're gonna use the same gold. And miscellaneous, sale badge color, we'll set that to gold. Star ratings, we'll use gold as well. And widgets, we'll, we're not using WooCommerce widgets on this site, so we'll just leave as is. And now let's refresh this, and you'll see we didn't have, have to actually go to the cart widget and edit it individually. Boom, it looks good, it looks consistent. We now have a consistent look across the site. If we take a look at a product layout, there we go. Same styles, consistently applied. I think this is a little dark, so let's tweak that. Save and refresh, and beautiful, looks good. And let's take a look at the shop page. There we go, these styles take effect absolutely everywhere without you really having to do any work at all.